Increasing pleasure is more important than ending pain and suffering. How far would a utilitarian agree with this statement? Well, one could agree because, in some cases, the suffering of a few may lead to the happiness of the majority, for example, a just war. This is a utilitarian principle of more pleasure for the greatest number. So yay. On the other hand, according to John Stuart Mill, you should not prioritize lower pleasures over the higher pleasures. You shouldn't let some people eat lots of food if others will starve and not be able to read any books. I love books. However, if the pain required is minimal, to cause a large amount of pleasure, that pleasure far supersedes the pain. For example, you should allow torturing someone if it will give you information that will save lives. Look at that guy's head. Law. Another issue with the statement, though, is that it allows drug addicts to continue their habits if it will technically give them more pleasure. This will ultimately cause them more pain in the end, so should we allow them to just smoke weed every day anyway? No. The answer is obviously no. In addition to this, doesn't the NHS cause people pleasure by ending pain? Obviously it makes more sense to end pain and suffering as it will simultaneously cause pleasure, whereas causing more pleasure will not stop the pain, so much pain. In conclusion, stop having fun whilst people are suffering, you inconsiderate scrubs. Peace out. Smoke weed every day.